Um, the Dead Dog. I wrote The Dead Dog. I think one thing I... When? Mm, in, um, I wrote it in 1980 is, is what I think. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But then Sherry said I wrote it in 1981. I no, she didn't. Yeah, that's right. That's I really think it was 1980. Late 1980. Yeah, fall of 1980 is when I wrote that. And I wrote that specifically for Sherry and her friend Kathleen, who were the first people who did it. I wrote it all in one day, sitting at a school desk. I wrote it in pencil. <coughs> Something I don't want to do right now is make a lot of comments about the play. I think both of the two performers who did the play, Sharon Gannon and Laurie Larson, are top flight per performers. Mm -hmm. So um, I really feel like uh, I feel honored both that they did the play and that they did it without this particular performance of it, without any help from me or anything, you know? I mean, they did it alone. It was something they wanted to do, and I heard about it from somebody else. And I guess uh, some people would be really disturbed by that. I Personally, I was, I was thrilled. That's the, that's the thing that I like about, about plays, that, that turns me on about writing plays. What makes it, writing a play so inspiring is that it's going to live. It's going gonna, it's gonna to live besides just being a, a uh, piece of writing on paper. It's expanded beyond that. So when you're sitting and writing it, it's, but well, that's real inspiring. It's 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 like um, I don't know, like ho operating heavy equipment. <laughs> There's sort of a, of a feeling of you know you're going to do something. I mean, this thing is going to do something. I got I don't know, ten, twenty thousand sheets of paper at home that have writing on them. And after you make a lot that many sheets of paper with writing on them, they all look about the same. You know? Yeah, yeah. But you have a play that's very different because then other people's creativity get involved over and over and the writer's creativity may be involved again uh, in different ways, you know, just feedback maybe. And so that the it's a. Hmm? The writer's creativity is always involved because the performer is constantly synthesizing mm -hmm. the writer's creativity. Yeah, but even actively sometimes, you know. I know that's, well, that's the whole point. That's where that feeling of strength comes in, you know, that, that real inspiration is to sit there and write and know that it's going to be, that it's going to keep on do, bouncing around. It's like. Uh, what is it that works like that, like a prism or a pinball machine? Or, you know, I mean, something where the thing bounces around a lot. Uh, billiards, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Napkin folders. Yeah, that's right. God in all her glory. That was a good one. That was a play I wrote about the same time as the dead dog, about uh, God in the form of a napkin folder in New Jersey. <coughs> and 
There were these two napkin folders talking in that one. They were sitting there. And um, one of them was God, and the other one was uh, aspiring to be God at some point in her life. Ha, 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 ha.